I love small business stories. You know, when people start from like the bottom and they go up to the top, they get a brick and mortar. I yes. love that that spirit of the of the American entrepreneur. I visited Waco Cha and found out a little bit about their product and their story as well. Check it out. Very cool. I just love small business stories, and that's exactly what we have today. I'm with Devin. He is the owner of Waco Cha, located right here on Franklin. Let's talk about your origins of making it to this brick and mortar, because a small business starts with a dream, but you eventually have to work your way up to uh, something like you have today. Yeah, so uh, my name is Devin, and my wife and I both, uh, well, I'm an immigrant kid from China, and then my wife was born in Oklahoma. So we both went to Baylor, and then we end up, you know, most Asian Americans end up leaving, well, students end up leaving Waco after graduation. But we decided to stay and we just loved Waco and uh, we ended up buying a house and we just end up staying longer. Uh, but one of the struggles we had at that time is first there was no quality boba tea. Um, now there's a lot more boba, uh, restaurants and uh, drink places that offer boba tea. But at that time there wasn't any, really. And uh, also there was a time when we when we decided to stay in Waco, we struggled with loneliness. Um, we just really struggled with having community. So even though we knew a lot of people around us, and people, a lot of people knew us, but we still didn't really lack community. So that's why we're just, as a tea company, we're really you know, um, passionate about creating community. Yeah, let's take a look at the space here. You've got a beautiful space here that you've worked your way up from a tent to a food truck, and now you've got brick and mortar. Uh, it's a great place to uh, come and gather and, and have some boba tea, which I wasn't familiar with boba tea. It, it's, a, it's from Taiwan, right? Yeah. Let's talk about what it, what makes up boba tea. What is it? So boba tea is, you know, tea came from China, and then, of course, the uh, you know, British took it to, to Britain and then, you know, became world famous, you know, and um, so uh, one of this Taiwanese lady went to Japan and experienced iced coffee for the first time. And then she was like, why can I do that with tea as well? So she tried to make uh, tea with, mix it with milk and some sugar. And then, so boba is just a standalone dessert at that well, we've time. We've got some here. What, what do we have here? This is a, wh which one is this? So this is the strawberry matcha. Uh, so matcha is a Japanese tea drink and um, it's really popular. And, this is, and then the other one is? is uh, our galaxy lemonade. Okay, which are the two most popular ones you have, right? Yep. Okay, I'll let you have that one as well. And then let's talk about the health benefits of the of boba tea. Oh, so you're gonna mix it for a bit. Mm. Mix it up a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay. we got everything mixed together. There you go. Well, it looks great. So what's, obviously, I would think low in fat, low in sugar. Well, I, tea has about half of the amount of co uh, coffee, co like the caffeine level. So it's not as strong as coffee. and and. From a healthy standpoint, coffee is more acidic, so it's not as good for your stomach and stuff. So tea is just better and more. Yeah. I like it, and of course, it's it's good. <laughs> it's really, really good. So come check these guys out on Franklin. Uh, the information is on your screen. Come check it out and uh, and and find out what boba tea is all about. You come here, hang out, read a book, get on the internet, and just enjoy yourself, right? Yeah. All right. We appreciate your time today. Right. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thanks for coming. All right.